So you never want to really, uh, y- you don't want to gloat over someone else's mishap in terms of politics. But Eric Schneiderman, this is this is an interesting story. Eric Schneiderman, if you don't know who he is, is the, uh, <clears throat> at least until the end of business today, is the Attorney General, New York Attorney General. He's the top law enforcement official in New York, and he's been uh, accused of <laughs> war choking and bitch slapping and scratching his women. <clears throat> New York, uh, New Yorker broke the story. It's, it's long and extensive and very uh, softcore porn oriented. So if you want to read it, it's down below. I, I find the story fascinating because, and I'll tell you, I'll tell you, you know, the, the details are, are down below now. It's important to know who Schneiderman is. Now, Schneiderman is the guy who went after Harvey Weinstein. Look, I don't, I don't follow these ridiculous stories. What goes on in someone's bedroom and someone's sexual prowess, you know, is up to them. There's people who like rough sex. There's people who like gentle sex. There's people who like kissy, kissy, touchy. You know, so I don't, what do I give a shit? What Eric Schneiderman, disgusting fucking Eric Schneiderman does in, in the bedroom, right, with his women. Now, if he used that sexual, if he used his position to position those women, that's a different story, but, you know, it, it's... I'm not defending Eric Schneiderman. What I, what I am saying is that this is the guy who led the charge, the Me Too, you know, charge against, you know, sexual harassment in the workplace and all this stuff, right? And he's also, it, there's also, here's the twist, right? The de- he's a Democrat, right? Eric Schneiderman is a lead, is a top Democrat in New York. Andrew Cuomo is currently being attacked from the left from Cynthia Nixon in the gubernatorial race, right? They're killing, Cynthia Nixon killing him. Can Cynthia Nixon win the governorship in New York? I'll still stick to my prediction, no, she can't, because... She's playing by all the rules. She's running in the Democratic Party, and they're going to cheat her. They're going to knock her out of the primary. Cuomo's going to win the primary, and she's going to be a coward and not run in the general election. If she if she isn't a coward and runs in the general election, then eh, there's still again the New York the New York electoral system is still controlled by Democrats. So can they can can they unseat the sitting governor? I'll still at this time I'll still say no if they run a conventional, a conventional uh, uh, campaign. So um, you know you got to say to yourself where was where was Eric Schneiderman? Eric Schneiderman, right? He's Mister Liberal, Mister Lunatic Left Liberal, marching down the street with a pink pussy hat, right? Hillary Clinton and and, and you know and, and all these people, right? But where was he when there was a you know an illegal ticket quota and 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 the, the elections were rigged in New York, right? You know where was he when the when the cops I I put up my my campaign video cops choking people and punching and kicking the shit out of people in the middle of the street in New York City? Where's Eric Schneiderman? Where's Eric Schneiderman? This is fucking it's no he's nowhere to be found, right? So you know so now now that Eric Schneiderman is going to resign, right, or quit or fired, whatever. The attorney, the t- attorney general's office, district attorney, whatever, in southern Manhattan, southern New York, I don't even know anymore. They're gonna, they're gonna press charges against Schneiderman and go after him. Now, what happened to the guy that that confessed to purging two hundred thousand votes, two hundred thousand voters in Brooklyn during the Democratic primary? What happened to that guy? He got off scot free, not a single, nothing. See, it's it's selective, and this is this is your chickens coming home to roost. Now, the other twist is this: Why Schneiderman? Why now? <laughs> I'll tell you why. Now, you heard you heard when this when this happened, right? This has been going on for a while because the New Yorker didn't just the, the law firm that was working on this. It didn't just happen overnight. They've been working on it. They've been working with these four, you know, women building this story of sexual prowess in the in, in you know in the bedroom. You know, very you know, it's a, it's a juicy story, right? They're working on the story. And when the story finally broke in the New Yorker, article down below, thank you, New Yorker, 
Um, you heard corks popping in the White House, right? <laughs> right? Kellyanne Connolly, uh, Conway, whatever her name is, is, they're all celebrating now. And Trump is, they like that because Schneiderman was going after Trump and, and you know, they, they dragged Henry Har Harvey Weinstein through the mud and, you know, so. But the big, the big gun is Giuliani. Ah, ah, Rudy, right? The timing. Look at the timing. Who's Rudy Giuliani? Rudy Giuliani is the mayor, was the mayor of New York City, working directly with Eric Schneiderman. They got more dirt on Eric Schneiderman than, than, than if Rudy Giuliani doesn't know the dirt on Eric Schneiderman, how he sides with the Democrats. There's nobody on earth that knows more about that than Rudy Giuliani. And Rudy Giuliani is sitting to the right of the father. <laughs> So, so there you go. The timing is impeccable. That that Giuliani is is now sitting to the right of Trump. Giuliani has, you know, immunity. He's 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 the the, the president of the United States attorney, right? So he's not going anywhere. Rudy Rudy's got immunities, and he's got all the dirt in the world on, you know, every crooked thing that Eric Schneiderman ever did. So. Is it? It's tit for tat. That's what it is, and that's what that's what these that's what these politics are all about today. And I, I, I fundamentally disagree. I I believe in in policy. I believe in that all of this stuff wouldn't be going on if 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 these these officials were given if they weren't given so much power. And authority, and and the ability to manipulate that authority and that power, if they weren't given that, that stuff, then we wouldn't be in this mess, right? So I believe in power in the people, you know. So <clears throat> what else? Oh, Cuomo said, <laughs> Andrew Cuomo said, no one is above the law. I will be asking an appropriate New York DA to commence an immediate investigation into into uh eric schneiderman right so they're throwing out they're throwing schneiderman under the bus now all the liberals are throwing him under the bus right why because because they're fucking corrupt and they, and they know that giuliani's going to come after you know put pressure on schneiderman and 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 go after cuomo and go after you know Gil gillibrand you, you know and all of them they're all you know they're all dirty they're all dirty politicians mccain's still dying of the his 10th bout with cancer. It's <laughs> another piece of news. Die already. Choke. Choke. Ah, he's not going to. T <laughs> John McCain said, when I die, I don't want Trump at my funeral. Ah, good. Gives a shit, man. Gives a shit about, gives a shit about uh, John McCain. So anyway, that's uh, that's all for now. I think it's, uh, it's newsable that Eric Schneiderman resigns as the, uh, most powerful top uh, law enforcement guy in New York. And uh, you could read my case in, in Conti versus DSNY. You didn't hear a, nothing from Eric Schneiderman. I had contacted that guy, you know, and his office and his the offices below him, you know, 25 times. You could read through the depositions. All the names are in there. The guy's a stiff, you know. The guy's not about law enforcement. The guy's, the guy's a politician, right? And he's the... He's the uh, the attorney general of New York. So let's see what we get now, you know. So they're going to bump. He's gone by, by uh, today's the 8th. He's going to resign by the uh, end of business today. So we'll see what we get after that, you know. It's probably, again, if you don't get the money out of politics, you get the same, just a different brand, a different flavor of scum. So that's all for now. My name is Marcus Conti, candidate for the United States Senate. YouTube blogger. Peace.